How are the boys feeling uh, day before the World Champions? I mean, I'm guessing there's a, a huge buzz about the place. Uh, yeah, no, there's a, a good vibe around this week. Um, obviously, we're a six-day turnaround. We've been we working really hard to get our bodies right, um, review everything that, that went well and what we can work on from the Australia game. And as you say, get excited about the World Champs coming to, to BT Marfield. Um, there's a good vibe around the camp. There's a, a lot of nervous energy. Um, boys are, are pretty chilled out in camp, which, which is always great to see. So, um, yeah, the, the mood in camp is very good. Yeah, six-day turnaround probably from the outside looking in isn't ideal but uh, how do you how do you counterbalance that is it just a case of a, a slightly lighter week uh, going into this game yeah obviously we potentially missed a, a day of training um sometimes uh it works for you sometimes it works against you i think for us we knew fine well it's going to be a six-day turnaround it's something that we just accept and had to get on with um we can't change it but look we, we, we feel we're in a good place as i say we, we've um, worked really hard to get our bodies right to make sure we, we're best prepared for this game. Um, training has been a little bit shorter, but the, the intensity has been right up there. Um, as I say, boys, I've, I've really enjoyed the preparation going into this game. So uh, I look, we're excited to, to come around to, to the game time tomorrow. You will become the most capped fullback in the history of men's test rugby tomorrow, which is Quite an incredible achievement. I know you'll you'll be thinking about the team and the win, and that will be uppermost in your mind. But you know, some of the greats of the game have, have played in that position. Sure, I mean, it must mean a lot to you to to hit that personal milestone. Um, I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> I know you um, are. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I think, I think for me, uh, I just love playing rugby. I love playing for Scotland. It's the for me. I'm constantly living a dream. Um, but for me, I've got a, a job to do tomorrow. And, I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make sure that I contribute to the best of my ability towards a Scotland one. The Springboks have had a habit uh, recently, well, for a long time, of, of coming on strong in the last 20. We saw that against Wales last weekend. You guys have always prided yourself on your fitness. Do you believe that could be key this weekend to withstand that late onslaught from the box? Yeah, I think, Luke, I think a lot of boys have had the opportunity to play against South Africa through time and... Um, they're an unbelievable team. They've got some of the best individual rugby players um, and they're world champions for a reason. I think if you watched the game last week, they grew into the game as it as the longer it went on. Um, the impact of their bench was was fairly impressive. Uh, so we, we know it's going to take a huge 80-minute performance. But for us, we're excited about the challenge. We're, we're ready to relish the challenge, to, to face the challenge. Um, and we're very much looking forward to it. I think they are... An unbelievable side, um, but like everything, that there are weaknesses within it, and you know, hopefully tomorrow we can exploit that. I think we need to be patient in what we're trying to do. Um, also, stand up to their physicality. I think if we can can stand up to that and out, out, out muscle them, uh, we give ourselves every opportunity of winning. And yes, to, to answer your question, I think we are fit. I think we are a team that, that work incredibly hard to. Um, finish off games to the, to the best of our ability but we can't wait 60 minutes you know 50-60 minutes to get into the game uh, we need to start at the, in the best way possible Thanks Stuart good luck Thank you mate hey, Stuart um, short one from me basically you've obviously played the Lions sorry the Lions you've played South Africa twice this year describe to us just how difficult it is to beat them and what does it take to beat them It's very difficult as you see in the summer, they've got a game plan unique to themselves um, and it's the game plan they've had for forever and it's a game plan that works incredibly well for them. So um, look what we're going to face as a back three and, and um, where we find themselves in the backfield, we're going to find ourselves in positions to be under the high ball, um, something we've worked hard on all week, something that I'm looking forward to. Um, and yeah, they're very, very physical. They've got jackal threats all over the, the their team. So in terms of defence, our attack and breakdown, sorry, we have to be really squeaky clean and make sure we source that, we um, are able to blast past the contact and, and, and keep that ball safe for us. And if we can continue to do that for multi-phase, then I think that's the times that will challenge South Africa. So um, we're fully aware of what we're about, what we can do, uh, and we just have to go out there tomorrow and, and, and execute it to the best of our ability. It's interesting that you talk about being able to cope with the high ball because Sia Khaleesi mentioned you specifically. 
in his presser. He, he said he watched the way that you kick and as a team, they've studied you. Do you consider that a compliment or is it just knowing that you can walk on to the pitch tomorrow with that extra bit of confidence? I think for me, I just concentrate on, on being the best version of myself for 80 minutes. And um, I know I've got a job to do. I know that the 14 other boys alongside me and that the eight that are going to come off the bench have got a massive impact to, uh, to be had in this game. Um, and we're very much looking forward to it. Thanks very much. So does it, do you, um, does it help that you've played them so recently personally that you look back on a, a few things that you can, you know, you can learn from that, those games and you can brush up on think we things you learned about them as well that you can maybe take into and even talk to your teammates about as well? I think that there's a large number of boys, as you say, there's eight of us there, but the coaches that have a, a huge idea of what South Africa are about, but that was a fair, a fair bit of time away now. Um, I think for us, we kind of looked a lot at the Welsh game last week, you know, and they say you're only as good as your last game and, and that Welsh game last week was a, a perfect opportunity for us to to look at their strengths, to look at their opportunities. Um, I mean, no, it's going to be a huge game. It's, it's a huge game. It's nothing better for us than having the world champions at BT Marfield. Um, and these are the games you want to be involved in. You mentioned, obviously, the, the six-day kind of uh, gap between the the games, but obviously it's a it was a huge win on uh, last weekend as well. Is it mentally is it as well a, a focus to try and refocus on something so soon because you've you've had a huge high, you've now got another you know, massive test. What what do you have to do mentally to to switch from that you know that win last weekend to another huge challenge? It's very lazy. It's very lazy to be honest because straight after that game we kind of talked about the job only being half done. And by that, I meant that we have played two games um, and we still have two games to go. So as soon as that game was was done, we, we can obviously um, enjoy the celebrations, enjoy the victory, but fully understand that a day later, we're, we're, we're starting to prep for, for the next game. And the mindset, the boys, the coaches, everybody in, in, in involved in the camp were very much focused on this game. Um, and that came straight, straight from, from after the game, as I say. So it's, been, it's a, an easy transition. Obviously, it's it's quite tough in the body, um, but as I say, we've got the, the best S and C staff here to to make sure we're right, best medics to make sure we're right, um, and we've got a clean bill of health. So that's all we can ask for.